Okay, so let's try this again. So we are going to talk today about the California 10 day waiting period and Assembly Bill 1135. Uh, for those of you guys that are paying attention to the politics, I hope you guys are contributing to NRA ILA um, because they're the ones keeping us up to snuff of what's going on in the background because none of these um, Assembly Bills are being made public. They're, I mean, they're public if you want to go look for them, but otherwise they're not necessarily, you know, fly, uh, flagging them around saying, hey, look, we're going to pass this bill if you guys don't say anything. Um, and so, you know, that's probably going to happen because there's not enough people that are awake and paying attention. Um, now, that raises a second part to my concern because, save for those of us that are aware and we email and we call and we do the, the necessary motions, it doesn't quite seem to make a difference. So, what are we supposed to do? We're not being heard. Our concerns are being dismissed. And business, as usual, keeps going forward with the, the gun agenda here in California. So what exactly is there left for us to do? Well, history says we need to rebel um, and not follow these laws. But contemporary times says if we don't do that, we're going to go to the slammer. So what do we do? We're caught in a bind. And I honestly don't know the answer to that. And I'm hoping somebody out there in YouTube world might know the answer to this because I don't know what's next. Um, Assembly Bill 1135 is one in particular that concerns me because it's going to make the rifles that I own assault weapons because uh, that Assembly Bill wants to make it illegal for anybody to possess an AR-15 that has a bullet button and allows the magazine to be removed without disassembly of the rifle. Now, to me, that is outright intrusion. I mean, the bullet button itself is already an intrusion because it's not how the rifle is designed. Um, but the uh, problem with taking your rifle apart to load it would require me to retrofit a rifle that I personally own already and that was purchased legally already uh, I would have to spend money to take it to a gunsmith to retrofit my, my rifle to go backwards um, to go even slower somehow um, I'm pretty sure that the state is not gonna help me with that I'm pretty sure they're not gonna assign a designated gunsmith to do this I don't even know if there's a gunsmith in town that will do something like this. So am I supposed to take a weapon that's perfectly safe and make it unsafe and try to modify it myself and could potentially cause harm in the usage of that weapon, not only to myself, but those people to the left and right of me that may happen to be on the range with me that day. Um, this is a gross uh, attempt by the, uh, basically by the Democrats to uh, try to slow us down in our use of AR-15s. And you know, I'm kind of over the AR-15 thing right now. I'm not excusing the behavior. I'm just saying I'm trying new waters with lever action rifles because I think they can deliver equal ballistics and I think they can deliver just as much fun shooting as they can an AR-15. But my concern is just such that, you know, they're trying to make us take these weapons that are already rightfully um, uh, configured and make them somehow a Frankenstein rifle so that they, uh, they only can be reloaded if you take it apart. That's just not right. Uh, it's not safe for the shooter. It's not safe for the, for the people around you. And I'm pretty sick of this type of legislation coming in. So I hope you guys share this video. I hope you guys can make, help make it go up a little bit so that people are aware in California. Share it with your friends and your family. Uh, that own AR-15s because this is one that's a particular concern, um, and it's gonna but it's gonna hurt everybody that owns an AR-15 bat. So uh, let's pay attention to this one. Uh, if you don't know it, Assembly Bill 1135 um, coming out of California. So go ahead and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.